Look, up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane. It's Stuntronics, Disney's newest aerial robot. I'm Zach, this is Zach DTV, and today we are going to take a look at this. Now, when you think of Disney animatronics, you can go back to years gone by when they first started on them with like these birds that Walt Disney himself was presenting. A lot of people might think Hall of Presidents or the Small World attraction. And for the newer park goers, they might even think about the uh, Navi experience, the Pandora experience, where you have animatronics like this. But when people think about Disney, they really don't think about the research department. The research division of Disney has brought us things like the SnapBot, or this cool robot car that can drive up walls. And the newest and coolest release from Disney Research is the Stuntronics Humanoid Aerial Acrobat. This thing is awesome. I mean, like, for real, move over, Atlas. One backflip doesn't cut it anymore. But before we take a look at the Stuntronics the way it is, let's take a look at how it got to what it is today. This program originally started with what was known as BRIC, which stands for Binary Robotic Internally Controlled BRIC. This device had internal sensors and a movable center of gravity that would allow it to be thrown through the air and stick the landing every time, land how the developers wanted it to. From there, they moved forward to Stickman. Now, Stickman was debuted just back in May of this year. And even though it's not a lot to look at, it's actually quite a feat of engineering. This stick took what they learned from the brick, added some new sensors, some positioning sensors and whatnot, and was able to release itself from its tether at the right part of the swing to land where it was told to land, while pulling off some pretty cool aerial acrobatics as well. So of course, Disney took that technology then and put it together to make Stuntronics. This humanoid robot is designed to replace stuntmen in like live action shows or even in animatronic shows where you need a character that can move dynamically. Because as you know, most of these animatronics are bolted to the floor and they just sort of stand there and wiggle a little bit. Well now with Disney owning stuff like Marvel, they need a robot that can fly through the air like a superhero, that can stick the landings on cue over and over and over again. And Stuntronics can do that using its suite of onboard sensors. It has gyroscopes, it has accelerometers, it has laser range finders, and it has the ability to release itself in the swing where it needs to, to stick the landing each and every time, no matter how it's launched. So I know what you're thinking here. Okay, great, you got a flipping robot, so what? Well, the thing is, this is one part of a system that is going to bring actual robotics into our world. I mean, granted, we probably don't need a robot that can go jump on the trampoline and do backflips, but we do need one that can position itself in its environment and maintain balance and positioning in all sorts of situations. This is the start of that. And personally, I just thought the superhero pose was pretty damn cool. But I wanna know what you think about this innovation. Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And when you subscribe, make sure to hit that bell icon so that way you get notified when I put up something new. All you guys who've been with me for a while know my schedule's been kinda hectic here recently. Thanks for sticking around. And until next time, just have fun and be safe. 